What is up YouTube? Zach here with Veteran Construction. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips, tricks, and information in order to help you guys make some quick cash. And not just quick cash, easy cash. Big cash, low risk cash. Because of all the things I know how to do, specifically in regards to the trades, like roofing, siding, soffit fascia gutters, demo decks, remodel, framing, windows, doors, trim floors, cabinets, tile, repairs, of all those things, these little pieces of aluminum right here, gutter guards, they're at the top of the list. Of all the important factors, what's easiest, what's fastest, what's most profitable, and what has the lowest risk. And if you're wondering why these have such low risk, I'll tell you why. Because they're a want more than they are a need. They're a luxury. They serve no purpose outside of convenience. So what is there to complain about? With roofing and siding and repairs and all these other things that I've already mentioned, there's a ton of things that homeowners can get pissed about. I've never once had a single complaint about gutter guards. Now before I tell you about the details of the product, I want to go on one last side quest. I know it's been a bit of a tangent, but we're just going to do a short little side quest. So I want to talk about the pricing, like what you can charge for gutter guards. I think that on the low end, people are probably out there charging $350 to $4 a linear foot. However, I am quite certain that there are people out there charging homeowners as much as $10 a linear foot on an easy walker just to install these gutter guards. That's material and labor included. Now I personally, I'm usually somewhere between five and maybe $7, slightly more, maybe we can go 750 if it's a steep pitch and I gotta you know, use ladders and stuff like that and there's tons of obstacles, the difficulty level goes up a little bit with the steep ones because you can't walk easily and get to everything like you can on a walkable pitch, which is pretty much seven, maybe an eight, 12 and under. So up those prices on anything above a seven or an eight, 12. Now, as far as how easy it is to land jobs with gutter guards, I can assure you it is extremely simple. This is a side quest I wanted to go on. One time, a couple years back, I was going on a vacation and I needed something to keep my guys busy. I posted on the page for this very neighborhood that I'm in right now. I posted my pricing, a picture of these SureFlow gutter guards, and a little brief description telling them about what they are, what we use, the brand and all that good stuff. And I had about 10 jobs for my workers to do while I was on vacation. I made more money on that vacation than I spent. That's how easy it is to land several gutter jobs, gutter guard jobs, sorry. So if you're a young man or just a working age man, you can be older than me, younger than me, it don't matter. You can be 16 years old and be just as capable of installing these as me. You can be 64 years old, as long as you still got some good knees, and it's still gonna be just fine for you to get up here and make some quick cash. You could line up five of these jobs and go make two grand in a weekend, and I am not bullshitting you. Two grand literally in a weekend if you pay attention to this video and know how to install this, because if you're charging five, six dollars a foot, you're pretty much making, I mean, for an average size house, 120 linear feet, the material cost is $1.70. You're making three, four, five hundred dollars a job. So I will get into the product now. This here is SureFlow. This is a, uh, this is my favorite brand. They've got these little holes here. Obviously it allows the water to get through and not leaves. Leaves will sit on here, they'll blow off when they're dry and everything. No big deal. They come with a bunch of these little ribs here. That's for you to put a screw wherever you want to. Now I didn't read the instructions, but judging by how many screws I got, I assume they want one in each end and somewhere one or two in this range here. Maybe one here and one here, or just simply one in the middle. I can assure you they will be pretty, pretty sturdy. They give you these longer screws, by the way, these longer ones are for the back. You see this, this little raised edge here. These are gonna go here every once in a while. These are the short ones that go in the top. And I have color match ones for the, for the black here, uh, but they're kind of buried by the silver ones. I was doing the long 10 footers. So these will go wherever you feel, you know, three to four on the face here. Now these are four foot gutter guards. I'm gonna show you guys the 10 foot gutter guards, the silver ones, that's the sexy stuff. They're two and a half times the length of these four foot ones, right? That's like two and a half times the profit. Don't check my math, it's correct. 
These four footers, I had to have them in four foot because I had the special order of the black, and I guess they don't make the 10 footers in any color but the silver. So, uh, Sureflow, it's up on the screen. That's the brand. Sturdy aluminum. Do yourself a favor. I haven't done much research uh, for what types of leaves specifically this gutter guard is best for. Maybe it's not great for pine needles or those little helicopter things. I'm not sure. They work pretty good. I haven't had any complaints. So if you want to be extra, go ahead and do the research and, and see if there's, uh, you know, maybe anything I didn't bring up here that you guys might be able to provide a better service for knowing. I don't personally care. <laughs> and the last thing I wanted to explain is these have an end right here that accepts an overlap. Okay, so you'll see what that looks like. This end is perfectly flat. And this end accepts the overlap. So you're always going to start down here on this low right hand side. Oh, looks like that got a little bent. That was me. Um, just going to chuck these under, get it to the end. And that's pretty much it. So I always screw the face first. One near the end. One in the middle. Make sure you're not angling towards the outside. You don't want to blow through the outside of it. And I'll show you guys the overlap. Sometimes I'll do a couple of them and then come back and screw the backs in. Other times I'll do the, I'll screw the back in as we go as well. But see right there. So we got that overlapped. You see we're just kind of resting pretty level here. You don't want it pitched in like downwards. You don't want it so high that you can see it from the ground because these screws will be semi-visible, um, especially if you have it angled kind of like at the roof pitch. So we're gonna try and find our holes here. Um, it's fine if you don't get in them, but you just wanna make sure you get that secure. Sometimes you can go through both of them at the same time if you want. It's got a guard ain't going nowhere. Now for this, we have to terminate this. So what I do is I just turn it backwards. Get it roughly where you want it. Make a snip. Beautiful thing about these SureFlow, let's get up close here. These holes, they're very straight. They're also at a perfect 45 to help with your inside corners. You don't need a speed square or anything like that. Pretty much as easy as gutter guards are. I got one last trick. You're gonna need to know, and that is it. Don't forget to uh, screw off these backs. All right, time for the fun part, the corner. We are going to be going like this. Put it roughly where it's going to go. 
make your little mark. Run it with the circle. Okay, got our piece here. this part to be 45 so we're just going to take where my mark was and we're going to run with a perfect 45 um, I'll make this my underside so I'm really only going to go to right here and leave this as like a backer so now we can go straight up this crease Okay, one half of it, this other half, make sure you like it out there, make a mark here, and now we're cutting 45 back this way, so I'm going to follow the edge of these dots, because they're a perfect 45. So that's how you're going to have it. Got a couple of leaves I got to get out of here. I also need to cut this point because it was stopping me from going where I wanted to go. See that? Oh, that's nice and crisp. So again, we can put a screw right through this if you want. Bam. Keep on going. Look how crisp that is. I'd love for all these to be color matched, but they're up on a roof. Ray don't care. And I don't think they might not have gave me enough. Look at that. Still sturdy all the way through. It's going to have good protection against reasonable sized sticks that hit it. Things of that nature. Showing you guys the finished product here. Again, I wish they were all black. I only had a handful. I don't think they sent me enough black ones. Or maybe I used too many on that roof yesterday. I think I did. All right, so here are the 10 footers I told you guys about. You guys can see quite a bit longer. Same exact thing. The only difference is this has some sort of step down in it. They haven't always been like that. I don't know if uh, they just gave them to me like that for no reason. I don't know what the purpose is. Maybe, maybe it helps shed the leaves that land on top of there because they're obviously gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so you can get them in 10 foot from a couple different places and they usually come in this silver color. And they look pretty good when they're on. I think it looks pretty sharp and they're two and a half times longer. So you just two and a half X your profit. So I'm going to do a little time lapse here. I'll have a clock going on the screen so you guys can see how long this really takes me. The last one after I stopped recording took me about another probably hour and five minutes, I think. And I had a little bit of help. So this time I'm going to do it all by myself. And we'll see what the difference is in the time and profit. All right, I feel like this is the perfect time to mention some things that I forgot to bring up during the making of this video. The first of which is that you need a magnetic tip for your drill. This is going to make the installation very fast and very easy. Next, I wanna tell you guys that I know I said I've never received a complaint about gutter guards. However, I did receive one semi-complaint that I do feel is worth mentioning. It's the only phone call I've ever gotten. It was from an old lady who said she now has icicles where she didn't used to have icicles. 
They were dripping all over her sidewalk. So apparently gutter guards allow snow to build up at the base of the roof a little bit easier. I believe that the heat that escapes from the attic is more likely to melt that snow and it's also more likely to drip off the front of the gutter creating more icicles than you would normally have. Now I did bypass this pretty easily with future customers simply by telling them in advance that they may have more icicles than they used to have. With that being said, I do have a few more things worth mentioning, but I will just drop that in the description for you guys to read on your own time. As far as I'm concerned, I gave you guys one of the best side hustles known to man. It's better than couch flipping, drop shipping, and retail arbitrage, all that other stuff you see on the internet that requires upfront money, risk, and research. Gutter guards require none of that. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you did and you believe that I earned your like, go ahead and take that like button right now. It's probably a clear, maybe a black color. Go ahead and turn that blue for me. Thank you guys so much. I do have one final tip for you. It's going to help you guys out tremendously. So stay tuned for that and good luck on your journey to financial freedom. All right, so there was a couple spots I didn't like. This one's not too bad, but this gutter is pitched extremely, it's like a 50 something foot run. So it's pitched really hard down here. And this is starting to come out of the gutter apron or go under the gutter apron a little bit. And it slipped out a couple times and I saw that it was really ugly from the ground so I want to fix it like right here especially and it's pretty hard to do by your finger so I wanted to show you guys a trick I found is I'll use a hook blade and get inside of these uh get inside of these little holes sometimes you see that now I can pick that up to where I want it <laughs> drill was on backwards. Um, so, I'm going to pick these up to where I want it. Try and get through both of these. There's actually two holes in line with each other. Bam! So now, it's going to look a lot cleaner from the ground. Little piece of advice, definitely on the front of the house. And if you have like a ranch on the back of the house as well, always get down and take a look because you shouldn't be able to see too much of these from the ground. So if you can, sometimes you're gonna have to come back, use a hook blade and uh, make some adjustments.